when we're multiplying binomials and you've been taught different ways, right? You've been taught what was called FOIL. You've been taught a box method where you put a box with the terms and then added up all the terms and all that, right? You also did what was called FOIL, first outer, inner, last. I'm gonna stick with distribution, right? This is something where you could, you could easily do distribution and we can carry this on to stuff we'll do that's more advanced. Right, so I'll take this three in. I need to distribute both of these to both of these. So I take my three in times in. Now remember, we're making them X's. So let's make everything an X. Just go ahead and do that. I don't wanna deal with different letters. So three X times X is three. X times X is X squared. Three X times positive three Three times three is nine, so that's positive nine. And then you still have the X. Okay, this is the only part where, where I'll do something different, right? This was like FOIL, but I do two times X. When I start with the second one, two times X is two X. If I can add that with something in here, I'll put it on the bottom right here, positive two X. And then two times three is six. That one I cannot add with anything, I'll put it here. So then what we're gonna do is add up the terms that can go together that have the same X. So I just got three X squared plus 11 X plus six. All right, and I'll write smaller so I have more space at the bottom. But on this one, I have an X here. X times two X is two X squared x times a negative 2 is negative 2x. Now I go on the inside. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And I put it below that one because they have the same x. Negative 1 times negative 2. Negative times negative is positive and is positive 2. Draw my line. So I have the 2x squared. Negative 2 and negative 2 is negative 4. x and then plus two, all right? So that makes it, again, very easy just keeping things organized. That's the idea is to keep everything organized. If I have two X times two X is four, so two times two is four, X times X is X squared. Two X times negative three. Positive times a negative is negative, two times three is six, and I still have X. You'll see it. a lot of times it's the same two terms that end up adding together. Uh, 3 times 2x is a positive 6x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. When I add this up, this is 0. So now I have 4x squared and just the negative 9. Because 6x minus 6x is 0. It just went away. Okay, on this one, x times, oh, this is x. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Three 1 times x is just positive 1x. One, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Add those parts up, so I have an x squared. I have a negative 2x. I have a negative 3. All right, pretty easy, write all those down.